Hello and welcome. This video will be about uh, reading uh, um, the data from an MPU. Uh, more exactly, um, this one MPU 9265. Yeah, this is a variant. Um, so I have exactly this one here on my desk. Um, the hardware configuration will be a VCC, ground, um, clock line and data line. We will uh, make use of uh, I2C protocol. Okay. So, um, basically I have here um, one init function and one cyclic function. Yeah, we proposed for today to read uh, the gyroscope, the accelerometer, and also the magnetometer data. There are quite a few reasons why you should uh, read the raw, da uh, raw, raw data and make use of um, some sensor fusion algorithms, uh, or why not develop uh, one by your own yeah uh, I have a previous video about this topic and uh, it will be uh, updated uh, very soon okay um, so first of all uh, let's see uh, what is um, needed here so basically I will uh, all the time for the init function, I will just write to the um, to some registers and then read back the values just to be sure that um, yeah uh, we are okay. So uh, and for this, I will print f uh, if we are okay or not. Yeah, um, via word. So. Um, Let's see. First of all, I'm uh, writing to the power management register. Yeah, it's 107. And let's see what configurations. So for this, we will take the um, register map. Yeah. And we will search for this one. Yeah, power management one. Okay. Okay, I will not be very, um, I will not state too much on this stuff because uh, we can spend a lot of time here. I will only show the configurations, what I did, and that's all. Yeah. So this is the first register and the settings uh, are um, here. This third parameter, it's the we have the one for the first position, yeah? Okay. Um, good. This corresponds to... <coughs> here. Okay. Um, so we choose the internal uh, 20... Uh, uh, megahertz uh, oscillator yeah okay then uh, the next step would be yeah. um, pa -pa -pa. we will select the accelerometer scale to 4g yeah this is done by um, with the register 28 and with this configuration so we will see 28 accelerometer configurations yeah and we will choose the scale like this 4G Okay, I will provide uh, <coughs> the code in the description so you can check by yourself. Yeah. 
the next step will be um, to select the gyroscope scale to 500 degrees per second and um, yeah uh, so this will be 27 with uh, this configuration so one on the fourth position yeah 27 we have 20 okay so it's this one here and we make sure that F choice is zero yes good next one will be to turn on the low pass filter for the accelerometer yeah okay so this will be done by setting in the register 29 this configuration 101 29 Okay. Um, good. So one zero one. Okay. This one. Good. Um, the next one will be um, yeah so basically this is the um, end of the uh, gyroscope and accelerometer so now we must take care of the <coughs> magnetometer so for this we are gonna disable the master i square c master interface yeah, and uh, this is needed uh, as a precondition to enable the um, bypass multiplexer for uh, yeah, just to be able to uh, read from the magnetometer. Yeah, so this is will be done by setting in register one hundred and six uh, zero. I think this will be. Um, done automatically but I just want to be sure so we can check it yep that's the user control yes let me check this one and we just write zero yes okay then the next one um, will be to enable the I2C interface by pass multiplexer yeah uh, this will be done by uh, writing in five uh, fifty five um uh one zero yeah let's see okay no this one bypass enable configuration one zero this one good Okay, next will be um, to set up the magnetometer. Yeah, uh, fuse room access mode. In okay, so we need to um, write in this register, which is ten. Uh, yeah, but see now that we will 
gonna change the device so far we wrote in um, 68 now the magnetometer is has a separate a uh, different address which is 0c and we will write um, this one um, just uh, five of ones in uh, magnetometer control um, register let's see so I think this will be um, here yeah so we will need this um, values in the future okay and um, we also check so we write one he uh, one here 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 and we will also write um, here in D4 just to select the 16-bit output configuration. Okay. <coughs> Good. Um, then we just uh, gonna read the sensitivity adjustments values. So these are um, red from Rome, yeah, so this is 16 um, from the magnetometer, yeah, it are just three values, yeah, okay, so this one, so we will read the axis sensitivity adjustment value for x, y and z and at the end we will need we need to implement this uh, formula okay the adjustment we need to make the adjustments yeah okay uh, let's move on um, we will uh, enable the chip to continuous mode yeah mode 2 this will be done by writing in this register values this value yeah this macro <sighs> okay so is magnetometer control config check something yep in 10 here and this one um let me check yes then um, We will uh, I will just read the who am I register just to be sure here. It's just the last configuration. Yes. What I skipped here I think uh, it's the sensitivity uh, adjustment value. So this implementation yeah for each axis is um this part here yeah so this one minus this one yeah multiply by 
0 0.5 divided by 128 plus 1 yeah so it's this part in parentheses parentheses so yeah and then uh, basically this is for the init function so I didn't stay on explaining all the configuration yeah but you can check by yourself I just want to go uh, walk through this uh, as an introduction then we have the cyclic function which is this one so after calling the init function then I will have um, interrupt a 10 millisecond interrupt which will trigger this function and read the data yeah so I have here the read buffer which will read from the um, MPU uh, starting with 59 address yeah, this is the accelerometer x axis and um, I will read 14 bytes yeah it's a burst read if you know a little bit about I square C so this is uh, 59 let's go there yeah accelerometer I will just um, so we will read byte by byte yeah until we reach uh, the gyroscope end yeah so we will read um, this one this one um, yeah, the high byte the low byte for uh, f x then the same the same uh, also the temperature will be read right here yeah the high and the low byte and then uh, the gyroscope yeah and so on okay so this will be here I will read in this um, this array of bytes then I will just shift uh, to the left the most significant byte and make an OR with the low um, the low the least significant byte yeah uh, good and then I will store it in, in this array as an um, okay with uh, seven elements then I will um, um, okay basically this is the accelerometer the gyroscope and the temperature from the chip then um, next step would be to uh, check this bit yeah from uh, this um, from the magnetometer to see if uh, the data is ready yeah so um, we have here um, this this is the address and we have the two the second register we read um, okay let's see what we read so we go down down okay so okay so we read from here this one that already if this is true that mean yeah this means that we can read the data okay good so we have here a mask yeah so we check if the data is ready then we will um, read the magnetometer values how we will read from exactly how we did it from um, for the a gyroscope and accelerometer it's a burst read and the register 3 from the magnetometer okay this one it's a burst read 7 um, I mean normally 6 6 um, um, 
so for each axis um, two bytes yeah but we will read uh, seven because the last one will it's important to check if um, I wrote here um, magnetic sensor is overflow then we need if this is true yeah even if the data is available and um, we also need to check if um, this this one um, we will this um, it's the last one okay let's go there to see exactly okay so we have uh, so we will read the <coughs> data okay and then we also check the status here in this status register okay so basically what we will check um, we will check if magnetic magnetic sensor overflow overflow occurred yeah so uh, this is the last uh, byte the last element from this um, magnetometer um, array yeah then uh, if this is not true so if the data is ready and we don't have the magnetic sensor overflowed then we gonna read the data else we will discard it okay no no read good then uh, just the final um, implementation will be to um, just assign the, the I mean the whole data into uh, a final structure okay so basically this is all I think that uh, I will I, I was a little bit fast but uh, take your time and if you see something wrong please comment and we will discuss about it okay so we will move to main here in main um, I have some conversions so I converted the raw data in my um, um, units which I want um, okay and um, basically that's it uh, we just gonna try it to see if this works and how it will be displayed we will check uh, maybe for the temperature um, to see what is the value yeah and uh, also we need to have uh, more or less 10 uh, meters per square um, second um, so this one um, yeah okay so let's compile Okay, we will start now the putty. So I have the port 14 and the speed. Okay, so these are the data. This is the data. Yes, yeah, so we have here 10 on Z axis which yeah we have some offsets we need to calibrate yeah but um, I think it's okay we have uh, 26 degrees and we have zero um, 
for the gyroscope for each axis which is good and the for, for magnetometer uh, as well good uh, okay let's so we have reset it we see that uh, we have OK. We are now in reset. So you see that um, init function is OK. Then we will just let it run freely. OK. So um, I think we're going to conclude this video here. Um, if you have some ideas or problems, please write below and uh, Thank you. Bye.